Hi, second graders. Welcome back to Social Studies. This is Mrs. Miller here with Lesson 11 on Symbols. So what are symbols? Do you know? Okay, yes, those are a type of symbols, but actually those aren't the type of symbols that I mean. In social studies, a symbol is something that stands for something else. So for instance, the American flag is a symbol for the United States of America. Do you recognize this symbol? If you know what this, stem, this symbol stands for, call it out in three, two, one. That's right. This symbol stands for recycle. You might see this on your um, recycling bin at home, or maybe when you're out shopping, you might see garbage pails that have this symbol on it, and that tells you that those garbage pails are specifically for recycling. Have you seen this symbol before? If you know what it means, call it out in three, two, one. That's right, this symbol stands for handicapped. So perhaps you've seen this symbol <clears throat> on a, a parking spot um, in, in a parking lot, and that tells you that that parking spot is reserved for those who are handicapped. How about this? Can you guess what this symbol might mean? Call it out, three, two, one. Yeah, this could be the symbol for a restaurant telling you that this is a place where you can go to eat. You might see a symbol similar to this <clears throat> when you're driving on a highway off on the side of the road. You might see something like this and that tells you that at that exit there's a restaurant there. Have you seen a symbol like this before? If you know what it means, call it out in three, two, one. That's right. This is the symbol for a bathroom. And if you see this symbol, you'll know that the bathroom can be used by men and women. Okay, what about the green light on this traffic light? What is that a symbol of? Call it out in three, two, one. Yes, the green light on a traffic light tells you that you can go. What about the red light? What does that tell you? That you can, that you have to stop, that's right. And the yellow light tells you that you should slow down, that's right. What about this symbol? Do you know what this symbol stands for? Call it out in three, two, one. This symbol stands for the dollar or money. Okay, we're going to watch a brain pop now on different symbols throughout the United States of America. Our country has many different symbols that represent the United States. So let's listen to what Moby and Annie have to say about all the different American symbols. Afterwards, we'll discuss it. So make sure that you're listening very carefully. Turn the volume up on your listening ears. Boop, 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 boop. It's a present for Jen, my pen pal in China. He's never been to America, so I'm sending him stuff that tells about our country. Good idea, Moby. We should give Jen a flag. It's an important symbol of the United States. What is a symbol anyway? A symbol is something that stands for something else. Well, a heart is a symbol of love, and a dove is a symbol of peace, and a four-leaf clover stands for good luck. Oh, right. 
A horseshoe also stands for good luck. Different symbols can stand for the same thing. What are some objects that stand for the United States? The American flag is a symbol of the whole country. It has 50 stars, which stand for the 50 states. And there are 13 stripes, which stand for the 13 colonies that became the first states. Each state has its own flag, too. I love looking at state flags because they're all so different. Each state also has trees, animals, and even fossils that stand for the whole state. Oh, right. I almost forgot. The bald eagle is the national bird of the United States, and it represents strength and freedom. Hmm. The Liberty Bell also represents freedom. The Liberty Bell used to hang in Independence Hall in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The bell rang to announce the Declaration of Independence in 1776. The Liberty Bell stands for freedom and independence. Yeah, that is a big crack. That's the Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from France in 1886 as a sign of friendship. It's on Liberty Island in the New York Harbor. Many immigrants, or people who came from different countries, used to reach America by boat. The Statue of Liberty welcomed them to their new home. The Statue of Liberty stands for freedom, hope, and friendship between countries. Hmm, a symbol doesn't have to be an object. It can also be a building. What are some buildings that stand for the United States? This is the Washington Monument. A monument is something that is built to honor an important event or person. The Washington Monument was built to honor George Washington. He helped the United States become a country and was the first president. He's known as the father of our country. Well, that's the Lincoln Memorial. It honors Abraham Lincoln, a president who kept the country together during the Civil War and helped to end slavery. No, that's not a memorial. That's the White House. The White House is where the president lives and works. The Capitol building is where Congress meets, and the United States Supreme Courthouse is where judges make decisions about laws. These three buildings are symbols of the United States government. Oh, right. Thanks for reminding me, Moby. What other ways do we honor the United States? The Star Spangled Banner is our national anthem. That means it's a song that stands for the whole country. Some classes face the flag to say the Pledge of Allegiance. The Pledge of Allegiance is a promise to respect the United States. Hmm, what else is a symbol of the United States? Good idea. There's that saying, American as apple pie. Moby, what else did you put in there? Thanks, Annie and Moby. They taught us a lot about American symbols. See how many American symbols you can list across your fingers in 15 seconds. Ready, set, go. Oh, 
All right, how did you do? How many were you able to list? I got all the way up to seven. So let's see if you named any of the uh, United States symbols that I came up with. I said the United States flag, the Liberty Bell, the Bald Eagle, the Statue of Liberty, what else? The Lincoln Memorial, the White House, the Star Spangled Banner. Isn't that so cool? Did you know that a song could be a symbol? Well, it can. The Star Spangled Banner is our national song. And the Pledge of Allegiance. Oh, look, now I'm even up to eight. There were even some more that um, Annie and Moby spoke about that I missed. So you might have named off some other ones as well. Great job, everyone. Nice listening. Okay, it's time for a little quick trivia. I have a question for you. Which of these is a symbol of the United States? An ice cream cone or an American flag? Call it out in three, two, one. Did you say American flag? You are correct. One more. Which of these is a symbol of the United States? The bald eagle or the frog? Call it out in three, two, one. Did you say the bald eagle? You are correct again. So let's learn a little bit more about the bald eagle. If you'd like to find out how the bald eagle became our national bird, you can watch this really fun Sesame Street video on our national bird. Sesame Street does a really great job of reenacting how the bald eagle became our national bird. I think you will enjoy this. So please click on the blue button up in the top right hand corner. First, of course, you're going to pause this video, right? Click on that blue button. And then once you're done watching that video, come back here to learn even more. I'll see you soon. Welcome back, everyone. Were you surprised to learn that the bald eagle was not the only bird that our founding fathers were considering for our national bird? What other birds did they consider? Yeah, that's right. They considered the turkey, right, and the pigeon. Interesting, right? So now... I thought we could maybe even learn more about this majestic bird, the bald eagle. We're going to read this book. It's called Patriotic Symbols, the Bald Eagle. And this book talks about the bald eagle. It, it shares a little bit about why it was chosen to be a national symbol. And it also talks about this very special seal, which includes the bald eagle, and the different parts of the seal. This national seal is a symbol for the United States. Let's learn more about it. Patriotic Symbols, the Bald Eagle. Written by Nancy Harris. What is a symbol? The Bald Eagle seal is a symbol. A symbol is a type of sign. A symbol shows you something. A symbol can have words. Here are some examples. Oh, we saw all of these when we watched that brain pop, right? Do you recognize them? Can you name them with me? American flag, Liberty Bell, Statue of Liberty, White House. The bald eagle seal. The bald eagle seal is a special symbol. It is a symbol of the United States of America. The United States of America is a country. The bald eagle seal is a patriotic symbol. Can you say the word patriotic? One, two, three. Patriotic. Yeah, the word patriotic, huh? What does that mean? Well, patriotic means to show love for your country. 
So the bald eagle seal is a way to show love for our country by using that seal. It shows the beliefs of the United States. The bald eagle flying is a symbol of freedom. Words. The bald eagle seal has special words on it. The words mean out of many, one. Do you see the special words here in our seal? They read e pluribus unum, and that is Latin for out of many, one. Colonies. The, the word many is a symbol of the 13 colonies. A colony is a place ruled by another country. People move to the colonies from other countries. These people fought to create a free country. The word one is a symbol of the free country. The country is the United States of America. Olive branch. The bald eagle holds an olive branch. The olive branch is a symbol of peace. Thirteen arrows. You see the thirteen arrows here? The bald eagle holds thirteen arrows. Now, do you recognize this seal from, from anything that you have seen before? It looks like this picture is actually a zoom in from our dollar bill. So if you look carefully at a dollar bill, you will, you will find this seal, this symbol. The arrows are a symbol of the first 13 states. What it tells you. The bald eagle seal honors the beginning of the United States. The seal is a symbol of a free country. And here are some bald eagle facts. Bald eagles have a wingspan of six to seven feet wide. Wow, that's really, really wide. That's wider, much wider than I am tall. My goodness, I mean, Mrs. Miller is not a very tall person, but still, six to seven feet is very, very long. Bald eagles only live in North America. And here's the timeline. The bald eagle seal was made in 1782. Now here are some definitions from our picture glossary. These were some vocabulary words that we read throughout our book. Country is an area of land that is ruled by the same leader. Patriotic means believing in your country. A seal is a stamp that stands for something. A symbol is something that stands for something else. Symbols can stand for feelings, places, or objects. Now, can you think of symbols that represent you? It could be a type of animal, like the symbol of the bald eagle represents the United States. What's an animal that represents you? Think of the characteristics of that animal. If I had to choose an animal that represents me, hmm, what would I choose? I might choose a puppy because I am playful and I like to cuddle. And I know that puppies are also playful and they like to snuggle up with you. It could be an object. If I had to choose an object, I might choose a book because reading is something that I love to do. It could be a song. Maybe it's your favorite song or a song that just reminds you of something important in your life or a song that even reflects something about you. If I had to choose a song for myself, I might choose the song Firework because that's a song that reminds me to believe in myself. Do you know that song by Katy Perry? Maybe you have a song that reminds you of something important. You could use that as a symbol to represent you. 
perhaps a sport. Do you play any sports? If I had to choose a sport to represent me, I might play golf because it's really the only sport that I play regularly. Maybe a special hobby. Is there something that you really enjoy doing? I might choose um, cooking as my hobby. So here you see this, this little chef. I might draw that or maybe even like pots and pans. Or you could even choose an emoji that represents you. Which emoji reflects how you feel most of the time? So now it's time for your very first activity sheet. You're going to um, access this, this activity sheet. It says symbols that describe me, my brainstorm sheet. If you're at home, you'll access it through your Google Classroom. If you're in school, your teacher will give it to you. And on this sheet, you are going to do sketches of different symbols that could represent you. Now, <clears throat> there are nine spaces. You're going to only have five minutes. So if you're at home, you can set a timer for five minutes. And if you're at school, your teacher will tell you when your time is up. But you'll just have five minutes to do some quick sketches of different symbols that might represent you. And remember, it could be anything. It could even be a food or a favorite place or any of the other examples that we talked about. It can be anything at all. I don't want you to spend a lot of time on this page making your drawings very detailed because once our time is up, you're going to choose one of those symbols that you sketched and then your teacher will give you another five to 10 minutes or so to create a flag for yourself. It will have the symbol that represents you on it. So you'll draw that symbol and here's the time where you can make your, your drawing very detailed. You might even have time to color it in. Um, and then you're going to write a sentence and you'll say what it is. So you could say, a slice of pizza represents me because most people like pizza and most people like me. Or maybe you could say, ballet slippers represent me because I am a ballerina and I take dance classes. Okay, so whatever it is that you decide, you want to make sure to write a sentence to tell why this symbol represents you. Again, you'll have about five to 10 minutes to work on this sheet. So if you're at home, once you get to the sheet, you can set your timer for five minutes. And if you're not done yet, you can always add on another five minutes. And if you're at school, your teacher will let you know how much time you have. Thanks so much for learning with me today. I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.